Today, we're diving into a remarkable advancement that's setting new benchmarks in the realm of space exploration. Meet NASA's latest innovation, the NASA H-71M subkilowatt Hall Effect Thruster. This new technology, developed at NASA Glenn Research Center, is revolutionizing how small spacecraft are propelled through space. It promises enhanced capabilities for interplanetary missions, making space travel more efficient and accessible. What makes this new propulsion system so special? How does it compare to traditional methods? And what potential does it hold for both scientific exploration and commercial ventures in space? In this video, we'll uncover the science behind this exciting technology, its strategic implications, and how it stands to transform our approach to exploring the cosmos. Unlike traditional propulsion systems that often grapple with the limitations imposed by the need for high power and significant fuel loads, NASA H-71M is designed to operate efficiently under low power conditions while still achieving the high delta V maneuvers required for ambitious space missions. This thruster utilizes electric propulsion, a method that significantly differs from conventional chemical rockets. Electric propulsion systems like this use electric fields to accelerate ions to high speeds, creating thrust. The Hall Effect Thruster, a type of electric propulsion, is known for its ability to provide a balance between thrust and power usage, making it ideal for prolonged missions in the harsh environment of space. This thruster in particular has been engineered to maximize the total mass of propellant it can utilize over its operational life. This high propellant throughput capability is crucial because it determines the spacecraft's ability to perform extensive maneuvers such as orbit changes and deep space explorations. The thruster's ability to operate effectively at sub-kilowatt power levels means that spacecraft can perform longer missions without the need for frequent recharges or large onboard power systems, which is advantageous for missions aiming to explore the less sunlit regions of our solar system. By incorporating high-efficiency thrusters like the NASA H-71M, small spacecraft are now equipped to undertake ambitious missions traditionally reserved for larger, more powerful vehicles. Capable of executing high delta V maneuvers efficiently, these compact thrusters open up new possibilities for exploring our solar system, from escaping Earth's gravity to conducting planetary exploration to returning asteroid samples. Their reduced size and increased efficiency make them ideal for smaller spacecraft, which are favored for their lower cost and quicker development. Furthermore, these smaller spacecraft can be launched as secondary payloads alongside larger missions, significantly cutting costs and expanding launch opportunities. By partnering with industry leaders like Space Logistics, a subsidiary of Northrop Grumman NASA is not only demonstrating the viability of this technology in commercial applications, but also setting a precedent for public-private partnerships in space technology development. This partnership is a game-changer for satellite operations. These pods, equipped with this thruster, are designed to attach to older satellites to extend their operational life by taking over propulsion functions. This application is revolutionary as it allows satellite operators to significantly extend the lifespan of their investments, which are typically worth hundreds of millions of dollars. The commercial adoption of the H-71M thruster technology in such applications also helps mitigate one of the space industry's most pressing issues, space debris. By keeping satellites operational for longer, the need to decommission and replace them is reduced, subsequently decreasing the likelihood of adding to the debris cluttering Earth's orbit. Furthermore, the operational extension provided by the MEPs opens up new business models within the space industry. Companies can now consider the feasibility of satellite servicing, including repairs and refueling, activities that were previously not cost-effective. These services can be critical for telecommunications companies, broadcasters, and Earth observation enterprises. Finally, NASA's approach to commercializing the H-71M technology through collaboration and licensing agreements exemplifies a strategic shift in how space agencies and private companies work together. These partnerships are crucial for the continued growth and sustainability of the space sector.
Space propulsion has traditionally been dominated by chemical rockets, which provide the high thrust necessary for escaping Earth's gravity. However, their inefficiency in fuel consumption and the limitations in duration and range they impose on missions make them less suitable for prolonged interplanetary travel. In contrast, ion thrusters, which the NASA H-71M technology is a part of, offer a more efficient solution by utilizing electric fields to accelerate ions, creating thrust over longer periods. Nuclear propulsion is another area under exploration for its potential to provide even greater efficiency and power for deep space missions. Nuclear thermal rockets, which heat a propellant like hydrogen to generate thrust, could theoretically reduce travel time to Mars significantly. Similarly, nuclear electric propulsion could offer continuous thrust for years, enabling far-reaching missions to the outer planets and beyond. Solar sails represent yet another innovative approach, harnessing the momentum of sunlight to propel spacecraft. This method offers the advantage of requiring no propellant, potentially enabling indefinite missions as long as the spacecraft remains structurally sound and can continue to capture solar photons. However, the technology currently produces only minimal thrust, suitable primarily for small, uncrewed spacecraft on specific types of missions. Looking ahead, the NASA H-71M is set to play a critical role in future space exploration missions. Its development aligns with NASA's goals to explore more of the solar system more frequently and at a lower cost. The technology could enable a series of missions to potentially habitable moons or asteroids, providing critical data that could inform the search for life beyond Earth. Moreover, the flexibility and efficiency of the NASA H-71M make it an excellent candidate for inclusion in multi-propulsion technology missions. Combining the strengths of different types of propulsion could optimize mission profiles, reduce costs, and increase the scientific return on investment. In conclusion, the NASA H-71M electric propulsion technology represents a significant step forward in our ability to explore space. By offering a versatile, efficient solution tailored for smaller spacecraft, it enhances the overall toolkit available for future missions, potentially in combination with other propulsion methods. As space exploration continues to evolve, technologies like the H-71M will play a pivotal role in defining the trajectory of our journey through the cosmos. Thank you for watching our exploration of NASA's H-71M Hall Effect Thruster and its game-changing role in modern space travel. Keep following us for more updates on how innovations like the H-71M continue to revolutionize space exploration. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video for more fascinating insights into space technology.